markets, if that's possible. <laughs> if not, Hang in there because uh, we've had a change of, of course. We are going to continue this program after a short break at the end of this 15 minutes, and we will continue in English for our English viewers and callers. But we're going to try to get to those who are waiting right now uh, in the next 15 minutes. Please make your uh, questions, comments concise, and we'll do our best by God's uh, grace to give you a concise and correct answer. All right? So let's take the next caller right now. Welcome. You're on the air with Jesus or Muhammad. Hello, brother Joseph. Hello. How you doing? Okay, how about yourself? Not bad, sir. I enjoy your show, and I enjoy brother uh, Walid and the show. I hope he, he come back again and, and help us to understand more. And also, in this, uh, I, love, I love Dave uh, and Sam. Oh, yes. The wonderful uh, uh, information they do give and uh, hard work they do. Amen. Uh, four years ago, they tried to impose Sharana law in Ontario. Because of the election, they, they removed it. But uh, Islam trying to impose Sharana law in, in Canada, Ontario. Mm -hmm. uh, my question is, why, why nobody doing nothing about the Christians that being killed in the Middle East, especially in Iraq? Yeah. And I, I'm I originally from Lebanon. I'm a Christian Lebanese. Right. And I listened to my dad. My dad told me, if you win the whole world and you lose your life, what did you win? Mm -hmm. So I decided to come to Canada because it's not worth dying for for nothing so but my understanding is right now uh, the islam in, in the west proving that they are right and everybody's wrong and and uh, the, the, everybody buying it uh, what you comment on this thank you brother god bless you thank you so much uh, brother walid any brother comments David, that would be probably a good question for you yeah uh. Which which part of it? Those well, that things. in part that it Islam's right, everything else is wrong, uh, and you know it's it's it's, it's really shot. I mean, what what he what, what he said earlier about uh, uh, what what what's anyone doing about uh, the Christians that are being killed? You, you you you've seen recently in the media, everyone's flipping out because uh, Israel's going to build some buildings, and Christians are being slaughtered in yeah. Sudan and Nigeria and Egypt and yeah, everywhere, well, and yeah. it doesn't seem Pakistan. to bother anyone. Look, a building! We, need to re we really need to focus on <laughs> someone building this building because it might be offensive to some Muslims. Yeah. Christians slaughtered across the Muslim world, uh, but, but who cares? Mm. And you're right that, that, that Muslims in the West uh, trying to convince everyone that Islam is right. And interestingly, this, this ties into <coughs> something that was brought up earlier as Walid and uh, Christian Prince were mentioning uh, about the abrogated verses. And uh, the, the, these abrogated verses, the, the, this problem in the Quran, that these verses, the peaceful verses, uh, there's no compulsion in religion or to you be your religion and to me be my religion. The problem is twofold. One, uh, the fact that the, the, the verses that Muslims are supposed to follow today are the violent ones, but also uh, it allows Muslims in the West to be deceptive. They don't always know they're being deceptive. Uh, some Muslims themselves are deceived, and uh, they've been raised with Western values, and this allows them uh, to see Islam through their Western lenses, and they really just pick out, they pick out all the peaceful v verses that fit in with their Western values. But Muslims who actually know what they're talking about know that these verses uh, have been canceled and that the verses that apply today are verses like fight those who do not believe. Those are the verses that Muslims are supposed to follow. Uh, so what we have is that Muslims get to come to the West and show everyone, hey, you think Islam is, uh, you think Islam is violent? No, 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 no. Look how peaceful Islam is. Uh, the ignorance of Islam in the West uh, is what allows Muslims here in the West to show everyone uh, how true Islam is. Since, since people in the West don't know anything about Islam, Muslim, it, this allows Muslims to say Islam supports women's rights. Islam is grounded in science. The Quran is a scientific <laughs> masterpiece. Uh, the Quran <laughs> is peaceful. Islam is a religion of peace. And since yeah. people don't study it, because to study it, you'd, you'd learn about it, and then you'd be an Islamophobe. So the only solution <laughs> is to just remain ignorant about it. And this allows Muslims to just, to just walk all over everyone, yeah. uh, to control everyone. And that's important to keep in mind. Muslims have to be in control. If it's in the Middle East, they control you by force. If it's in the West, it's through organizations like CARE, uh, and they will control the media. But they have to feel like they're, they're just in charge here, that their religion is the superior one, that all other religions are, are inferior and subservient. And uh, yeah. The caller makes a very important point. What yes. are we doing? He's asking, what mm -hmm. are we doing? And many times we get on the media and we talk about the persecution. Yeah. But the question is, talking about it in the media enough? He's asking, what are we going to do? Yeah. 
what are we doing? And doing is an action. Yeah. I think, you know, and I've been, I'm glad that he called and made that remark because it's something that's been on my heart for the last few months that we yeah. need to do something. I sit there and watch YouTube clips from Egypt of the Copts trying to express the persecution that happens in mm. Egypt. Look what's happening to us. They didn't even have a media avenue to express yeah. their views. Yeah. Help us and nothing is being done. Yeah. I get emails yeah. from Pakistan of, of mm. people under you know, blasphemy law. Yeah. And uh, we're trying to help right now persecuted Christians in Pakistan. We have a family of six people and we're doing something for a change. And you know, taking them from Pakistan, putting them in a different country, which we can't talk about the details. But we tried to call so many churches yeah. to try to help fund. Yeah. And guess how many came through? Mm. None. So what I did is I funded it myself. Mm. I am doing a fund to help persecuted Christians. Mm. So if you know persecuted Christians that need help, please let us know. Mm. We're actually mm. doing something. Mm. In fact, I was so crushed when I called the voice of the martyrs regarding this yeah. family. And the yeah. voice of the martyrs told me that we are basically a media. We make a magazine and we yeah. tr we're trying to inform. If that's all we do, try to inform the public, and no one wants to actually physically do something, going, yeah. putting our life on the line for these poor cops, the Pakistani Christians who are suffering, then our faith is, in, is, is null and void in my opinion. Yeah, it's the book of James. Because action speaks louder than words. Peace be filled and we don't do anything. That's right. Yeah. So uh, we need to get, you know, I have, money is not what I'm asking for. I've raised funding for this kind of operation. <laughs> so if anybody knows of persecuted Christians, real brothers and sisters who need help, we're glad to help. And in yeah. fact, I'm going to try to do a TV program. Yeah. We're working on creating a TV program strictly for that purpose. Mm. So I'm urging anybody, pastors who want to help uh, to uh, adopt persecuted Christians from Pakistan, let us know. Can they find out more about this or contact you at your website? It's very easy. Walid at Shubat.com. Walid at Shubat. Just remember how you spell the word shoe. I won't be insulted. Yeah. And bat. Shoe and bat. Okay. Very good. You know, we only have a few minutes left on the program. Why don't we try to take at least one more caller before we end? Let's take the next caller right now. Welcome. You're on the air with Jesus or Muhammad. Hello. You're on the air with Jesus or Muhammad. Uh, hi, Mr. Joseph. Hi, Mr. David. Hey. Hello. Hello. Yes. I, I want to ask you if there is uh, Arabic a translation of this book or no. Oh, okay. No. Brother, no. W will there ever be, or do you, do you ever translate any of your books? Well, if somebody wants to volunteer and do the art, it's going to take you a couple of years to translate this volume. This is uh, a long one. Huh? Yeah, if, if you want to, if you have a volunteer, I'll be glad to have somebody translate it. But until then, we try to translate it into Spanish. Okay, so the answer is no, but uh, Brother Walid would be open to uh, having someone help translate. Oh, 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 no, I ask if they have. <laughs> no, yeah, no, he, he doesn't have one, unfortunately. But I think you know that's a great point. A book like this, uh, eventually, yeah. you need to translate it. Well, then you should translate it to the Indonesian. The largest Muslim population in the world is in Indonesia. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. That's Turkish. a good point. Turkish have 80 million Turks that needs to read it. That's a good point. You know, I'm only one person, and I can't. <laughs> now that's a good point. That's right, because most Muslims don't speak or read Arabic, so it's a good point. Yes, brother. Anything else? Okay. But by anyway, thank you and thank you for for your program. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Thanks so much. This All is right. an interesting yeah. point. Yeah. Why Islam insists on one language sure. when you worship? Yeah. Why? Do you ever think about that? Yeah. Why no Muslim can go to heaven unless they worship Allah in the Arabic language? Yeah. There's a reason. Mm. And because what Islam wants to do is reverse what happened in the story of Babel. Mm. God changed the languages. Yeah. I always used to ask myself as Muslim, why do Christians have their Bible translated to all these languages? Yeah. Their God is multilingual. Our God is not. Why? <laughs> <laughs> but it's the reversal of what happened in Babel. Yeah. To make a universal religion, one world language, one world government, one yeah. world system. Mm. And that's the spirit of the Antichrist. Mm. To reverse um, what happened in Babel. Excellent point. You know, I think we have about five minutes left in the program. I do think we have more callers. So why don't we try to take another one right now? Welcome. You're on the air with Jesus or Muhammad. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Um, I, I didn't get to say anything the last time. I'm sorry.